New at noon, Customs and Border Protection Commissioner Kevin McAleenan says the immigration system has reached its breaking point. In El Paso this morning, McAleenan called on Congress to act on the migrant influx at the border. According to McAleenan, we're on track to reach more than 100,000 apprehensions and encounters with migrants in the month of March alone. To address the influx, 750 officers from our ports of entry will be redirected to help Border Patrol care for migrants. This will have a traffic impact at the border, which means a slowdown in the processing of trade and those wait times for passengers, uh, for pedestrians and car traffic. Continued inaction by Congress is going to continue to put people at risk. The vulnerable migrants on the journey in Mexico as they cross our border, increasingly hot weather and our own personnel and unfortunately children in our custody. As we reported, Border Patrol is facing overcrowding at facilities everywhere with the worst here in El Paso. According to Border Patrol, more than 3,700 people were taken into custody on Monday, that number being the largest single-day total in more than a decade. Meanwhile, a caravan of migrants in southern Mexico is on its way to the U.S. border. Mexican officials say the latest caravan includes about 1,200 migrants from Central America and Cuba. They are traveling on foot with a police escort. The group was making its way through southern Mexico's Chiapas state yesterday. Mexico's new president, Andres Manuel López Obrador, has pledged to curb those migrant flows. He promised better regulation of those caravans and to offer job opportunities and better pay for those migrants willing to stay in Mexico.